My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. It's Shelby time, 1968 GT350. This is a genuine documented Shelby. We got the nice framed deluxe Marty report. The Shelby invoice has the original Shelby tag, the buck tag. It's in the Shelby registry. So this is a real candy apple red four speed car. Uh, one of 67 built with this color combination. One of only 1,053 GT350s built. And something that I thought was kind of cool, it's car number 94. It's a 94th Shelby built in 1968. It's in beautiful condition, top to bottom. You can go to volocars.com. As you can read all the specs, study about 100 pictures, top to bottom. That's where you find price tags on over 200 collector cars that we offer for sale. It's at volocars.com. If you enjoy the videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on that bell icon. That way you're notified as the new ones are posted. But for right now, buckle up, join me. Let's go for a spin. Yeah, a gorgeous car. Underneath is really clean. I was impressed with that. The frame rails, the floor pans, all the factory spot welds, the seams, all look to me like it's dry, clean, original metal. A uh, matter of fact, the car was sold new in Scottsdale, Arizona. So it's a Western car most of its life. So the floors are real nice and clean. The front end's been rebuilt. The components, you can tell they've all been replaced. The bushings and steering components been redone. Uh, it does have uh, the bottom of the motor. It has a nice Cobra finned aluminum. Uh, oil pan, an extra capacity pan. It's got a new fuel pump. The starter looks fresh. Uh, it does have a top loader four speed, wide ratio. Uh, in back, it has its original rear end with 389 gears in it. Disc brakes in front. Uh, the exhaust system looks good. One muffler has one thin line of rust. Uh, so it's, I mean, it's going to be fine for a long time, but might need mufflers eventually. But overall, the underside of this car is just nice, clean, respectable, good car. Uh, the shocks were replaced. They're Coney shocks all the way around. Uh, gas tank looks good. So again, real nice underneath. Body is slick. It's a factory candy apple red car. Uh, this is a fiberglass hood that they came with. This one's in really nice shape. I don't see any damage. Uh, well, there's some hairline cracks right up here, stress cracks right there. That new hood locks, the nose is fiberglass, there's one hairline right there. Has the Lucas fog lamps as part of the Shelby package. Bumper is real nice and shiny, straight. This fender is pristine looking, has the Cobra emblem. It's all real nice. There is a little chip paint on the edge of the door. The door does fit real nicely. Windshield's crystal clear. The stainless moldings are very good. The mirror's real nice. Door handle's real nice. Window's real nice. Has the Shelby scoops. Quarter panel's nice and clean. The roof, no issues with that. Has a rear antenna. This is all looking really good. <clears throat> Has the dovetail trunk. This is a fiberglass trunk. And then the end caps. That's all part of the Shelby. As sequential turn signals, I tried it, they do work. They blink across. Shelby actually stole these from a 65 Thunderbird. Uh, but the whole panel is painted nice, got the Shelby pop-up gas cap, the chrome, the trim, everything back here is beautiful. The original rear glass does have some light scratches in it. Uh, that is a fold-down rear seat in back there as an option. These are 10 spoke aluminum wheels. Uh, they're probably reproduction. They're in excellent shape and it has the reproduction Goodyear tires. I really like those tires. Gives it a nice look. This quarter panel, everything fits nice. This is nice, smooth, glossy. I don't see any issues. This door is beautiful. No issues here at all. It's all real nice. So why don't we uh, open the hood? I'm sure you want to see what's under the hood of a Shelby. We'll check out the inside and the trunk. 
All right, let's see what inside of the trunk looks like. Well, someone spent the money. They got a fifth matching wheel and reproduction tire. Usually people are too cheap to do that. Uh, so you got a nice matching spare. Now we got a bag here. I was hoping it was full of money, but it's got the uh, jack. It looks like it's new or restored. Uh, the correct jack for the car. Uh, you got the trunk mat. Inside the trunk is nice clean metal. It's kind of got a, <clears throat> a satin finish. It's not glossy red, but it's nice. Now on the fold down back seat cars, this panel here opens up so you have access. I guess if you ever wanted to bring golf clubs or two by fours, you could open that up. Uh, it does have some Shelby stickers. I just noticed the trunk light is working. This is painted up real nice. The jam is a little dry. Uh, you know, nice clean metal, but just doesn't have that glossy finish. Weather strips in real nice shape. So nice, clean, respectable trunk. <clears throat> and we'll check out the interior. The Shelby interiors are pretty cool. Got some nice features not found in a Mustang. And for starters, we had the Carroll Shelby autograph on the dash and on the radio delete panel. It does have the full gauges with the tachometer in the dash. The dash pad's in nice shape. All the instrument bezels, everything's very good. None of this looks perfect, but it's not beat up or broken. It's nice. Now this is a center console unique to the Shelby. It has three gauges. I noticed when I pulled it in at an idle, oil pressure is at 80 pounds, which is excellent. The seat belts have Shelby logos right on them. That's original. You have the Shelby or the Cobra uh, embossed uh, on the uh, center console cushion there. The seat cushions feel nice and firm. And then check this out. How many cars come with a factory roll bar? Uh, with shoulder harness. That's part of the Shelby package. You can still use the full back seat. This does have the optional fold down. They call it the sport deck. You can fold the seat down flat. And uh, upholstery and back looks really nice. All the plastic trim and panels look good. Interior lights are working. Uh, headliner's excellent. Carpet's real nice. It has pony floor mats. And of course, we got a Hearst four speed shifter sticking out here. And uh, down below is the fog lamps. It's the original switch. Steering wheel looks good. It does have an aftermarket wrapper. And then the uh, door panels look like they're in excellent shape as well with the lights working down in the bottom there. So very nice interior. Not perfect, but very nice. No, no concerns. Now, you want to see under the hood. It is decked out with the Cobra finned aluminum air cleaner and valve covers. It's a 302 motor. Shelby rated them at 250 horsepower, and I just read Shelby was known to grossly underrate horsepower to save your insurance and to uh, surprise people at the track, I guess it says. This one does have headers. It does have the aluminum high rise with the big dual feed Howie carb. It is an updated car with electric choke. It has the chrome support bar. <clears throat> I mentioned earlier a buck tag. This is from the Ford assembly line. This has options and codes on it. Just one more form of documentation. The battery is bolted down properly. The inner fenders and shock towers look to be in good condition. I mean, nice clean metal. Does have an aftermarket Edelbrock water pump does have power brakes the car originally came with power steering that was removed i think the owner told me it's because of the headers the way it, it mounted you have a washer bottle and this here is the original shelby tag the first number is the ford vin number that's the shelby number and it's 00094 the 94th shelby built in 68.
So the Shelby has not lost its appeal, and I don't think it ever will. Today, the modern Shelbys are so much in demand. We sell them like hotcakes. Uh, older original Shelbys have sold in the millions of dollars. These will do nothing but appreciate. Just that Shelby name means so much. It's just a, a cool factor. Uh, you can compare it to the modern Mustangs. We get a Roush Mustang and you get a Shelby Mustang. The Shelby will sell like that. It's just a status symbol. Uh, like a Corvette, the Shelby is a surefire investment. Whatever you pay for it today, a few years from now, you'll look back and think, wow, that was a bargain. So you got a red Fastback 68 Shelby, documented. I gave you my impression of the car. Go to volocars.com. That's where you can find a salesman to talk to, ask the questions you have. They can help get this delivered to your driveway no matter where you live. They can help you get financed. That's at volocars.com. If you enjoy watching these videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on that bell icon so you're notified when these new videos are posted. Thanks for watching.